Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Simona and if you've already been here, thanks so much for returning. And I am so excited because today I get to talk all about travel. I have been to over 20 countries traveling, I guess throughout my life, mainly in my 20s, mainly with usually on a budget because early 20s, like you don't have a lot of money and things. Done a decent amount of travel in my 20s. I know it definitely got stumped a little bit during COVID. I also did travel quite a bit of Australia more recently. <music> lessons or 10 things I've learned from traveling to over 20 countries. Let's get into it. What I've learned about myself, you unlock a different level of no inhibitions when you're traveling. When you're in your home country, when you might think, oh, it's like a late-ish night, so I better get to bed. But when you're traveling, I feel like all of that just goes out the window and you just do whatever. I have done cliff jumps, jumping off of waterfalls, clearly a lot of jumps. I have met strangers, met up with strangers. You meet people out and you just think, oh, let's continue the night all together. You do do in your home country, but like always around your people. So like you don't really think about that too much. Taking risks is one thing, but you also grow yourself way out of your comfort zone. For me, a lot of that is when I am staying at hostels and I get to meet different people, sharing that space with someone else and, and being extroverted. Like that is definitely outside of my comfort zone. It is so much fun. And honestly, like you meet people that you're going to be connected with for so long. Some of my greatest memories come from meeting people. And it's always when you throw yourself out of your comfort zone. Some other ways I've thrown myself out of my comfort zone is literally camping in huts in the Philippines, going camping in Kakadu more recently. In Venice, we ended up staying at this little bungalow campsite just outside of Venice in the idea of saving money. But again, so out of my comfort zone, definitely out of my control, but some of the funniest, best memories. You actually have to prioritize travel, like you prioritize other things in your life to actually get it to happen in your 20s. Just saying that you want to travel, oh, you're so lucky lucky that you've gone to so many countries doesn't come from luck it comes from consciously thinking I'm going to achieve doing this and so I'm gonna put money aside to it plan for it I'm gonna organize leave for it yes it's a little bit of a privilege but also working towards it is just as important if I thought about all the money that I'd spent traveling I would never have gotten to go anywhere the experiences and life lessons outweigh the money spent by a ton in your early 20s when money is scarce you actually do have to prioritize it I don't know I think that doing it in your early 20s like you you learn so much. To be able to do it, you've got to prioritize it. The third thing that I've learned that traveling has grounded me or it makes me feel so much more connected to this earth and everyone on this planet simply because I've just seen so many different cultures, different ways people live and it really puts things into perspective for myself. It sounds a little bit privileged almost because I do possess a certain level of privilege to be able to go travel and do those things and then to say that it grounds you. But for me, I feel like we think our lives are so big all the time. We always think like there's so much to do, there's so much to achieve. But then you go to a country where they live completely different to you and you think, why did all of that matter in the first place? None of that mattered. It kind of makes you think, what are my priorities? What's my purpose? And why am I doing what I'm doing? What do I need to prioritize? And what do I need to deprioritize? My trip to Fiji came at such a great time before I was making a massive change in my life. I remember learning about Fiji time. They do everything, they do everything that they need to do, they do it when they want and they do what they want. You might be getting late to a dinner or you know an activity. They don't care. They're just like Fiji time, like it'll happen anyway. And just that trust in the universe that you know it's gonna happen anyway. So why are we fretting about time? We were literally getting onto the ferry from Blue Lagoon Island, which is this island far off in the Asawa Islands. We were getting onto the ferry to be able to get back, get to another island. It only comes that one day, and we didn't organize accommodation for that night. And we were chatting to a few people, we were ready to go, but we didn't realize like the boat, the ferry was there and we were like, crap, we need to go. Like everyone's already on the boat to get to the ferry. And we were like running with our luggage and the guys on the boat were just like, relax, Fiji time. Like we'll get there anyway. No, but the boat's gonna leave. But they didn't care at all. And yeah, why do we stress about this so much? You meet the best people in hostels. And I know hostels are not for everyone. And you meet people when you're traveling, when you're doing other stuff as well anyway. If you're, if you're in your twenties, like stay at hostels because they are so much fun. And you can organize your own room at hostels as well. So all of the social spaces and all of that can be used to meet people. See, everyone has such a di different story about how they've gotten to where they are. You just end up making such a global network. 
I actually used to be such a preppy little princess when I was traveling. And you can probably ask one of my girlfriends, Roger, because like when we do the Vietnam tour together, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cold. Like I can't stay here. The doors don't lock. I was just so preppy. But I think the more and more I went to different places and really got down and dirty, I was when you're traveling, you just kind of forget about all of that. You're like, you know what? I'll deal with it later. I'll enjoy it in the moment. I'm sorry, Roger, if you're watching this because it's horrid to travel with at the time. Hostels are fine. Tents are fine. As long as there's a place to sleep, I'm all good. This next life lesson that I've learned through traveling, I've also learned through different parts of my life as well. As much as you plan, as much as you organize your trip, as much as you've done all the groundwork, at one point you've got to let go and you've just got to go with the flow. You can stress about so much when you're traveling. Things aren't going to always go according to plan. Everything is not in your hands. You don't know what the weather's going to be like. If you booked an Airbnb, like you don't know what the hosts are going to be like. We were checking into our Airbnb in Amsterdam and the host wasn't even there for hours. And we were like, what do we do? We've got all this luggage and the host has not been responding to my messages. What do we do? So it was a bit of a mess and we got really frustrated. But at the end of the day, like what can you do? If you go so according to your plan that you're always thinking what's next, you miss the moment. And I think of those little moment times of my travels and I'm like, those moments are still the greatest memories in my mind. Imagine having missed those moments seeing the sunset in Santorini. I think that was such a beautiful moment. We found the best spot. We were so, so lucky. Outside of hostels and just like when you're traveling, when you're meeting people, maybe you're doing a tour, the people you meet when you're traveling, unmatched. It's just such a special moment when you meet people across the whole world that you connect with. Two days ago, I didn't even know these people and suddenly like they're just such great friends. I think I've almost built a bit of a global network. I could still message or hit someone up going, I'm in this country, let's catch up. And they'll be so down to catch up. We met a couple of people in Fiji and we just vibed with the people there. Abby and I went to London later on. We didn't get to catch up with everyone, but we caught up with one of them. Just like old times, like it was just so fun. Next time I go, I'll still see them which is like so cool. Traveling serves as a really nice circuit breaker for my mind. It takes you away for just a little bit from your goals, from your ambitions, your career. It's great in your life, but also gives you stress, forces you to reconsider and realign. Think about, is this right for me? Is this what's making me happy? Is this what I want to do in the long run? Are things aligned for me or am I pushing it to make something work when it's not? Every time that I travel, I get removed from my everyday introspect and reconsider these things. During COVID, I actually really struggled with that and I found that my little trips across Australia have really helped. Happy space or that safe space to move away from everything and just kind of sit down, think and reconsider. The lessons that you learn or the little additional things in different cultures that you learn, you can take that and incorporate that into your own life. For me, the biggest one was Fiji time because I am such a planned, precise person. But learning, I put the feelers out there, let the universe do its thing. I'm going to still take inspired action and work towards it, but I'll let it happen at its own time. Has been a great lesson. Let the universe do its thing. Let go and just be in the moment and enjoy it. I just remember going to Amsterdam and realizing things that I had inhibitions against. They were just so open and free and it was just such a different way of seeing things. There are ways to prioritize travel and to cut costs to make it happen. There's things that we did specifically to make sure we were not cutting back on activities and make sure that we were able to do absolutely everything we wanted to within the budget. We spent almost two months in Europe. I spent about 12k all up. How the hell did I do that? Make sure our accommodations were pretty cheap. So we stayed at hostels, Airbnbs. We made sure we did supermarket breakfast every day. We were also really sneaky with our packing, which ended up being such a burden. I mean, we didn't even pack a lot. We shared clothes amongst every all three of us. Teachers need to not take life so seriously. When you're so in the moment, you actually can't. Like, what are your stresses? In that moment, you're just like, oh, nothing. When you learn to not take life so seriously, you just enjoy the moment. Travel does that for me. It's such a reminder to be in the moment and enjoy the moment. That was my 10 things. But the one last thing I think I'd like to say, something that I didn't prioritize or appreciate for a really long time. Going overseas, I never prioritized seeing Australia. There's so much to see in the world, but there's also so much to see here. Wow, these countries are so beautiful. But then I'm like, and at that point I'd say things like, oh, Australia doesn't have this, Australia doesn't have that. But I hadn't seen it. Like I literally hadn't gone and explored and I feel like I've done quite a bit of Australia now and I haven't 
untouched Western Australia, which is literally half the country. There's so much to see in this vast land. If you have any questions about travel in general, but also specifically traveling Australia, let me know in the comment section or send me a message on Instagram or wherever, because this is a topic I absolutely love talking about and I will literally go on for days about this topic. So I think I've also had a few questions about my itinerary, the budgeting, how we organized it and things. So I will talk about that later on. Any questions regarding any sort of travel in Australia or outside of Australia, let me know because I would love to chat about this more. But yeah, those were my 10 or 11 lessons that I've learned from traveling to over 20 countries. And I really loved recording this because it was so fun to reminisce and chat about my travels. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, this side or that side, somewhere, it's on the bottom somewhere. Connect with me because that's the stuff I really enjoy. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.